His work first came to prominence on the show Phoenix Nights, where he dazzled the members of the Phoenix Club Bolton with his spectacularly accurate readings of their imminence. And since then, he's worked around the around the northwest and beyond uh, at conferences and weddings and the occasional corporate, doing what he does best, telling us about what lies before us in the future. His name, ladies and gentlemen, is Clinton Baptiste. Uh, good afternoon, Clinton. You're yeah, right. Nice to be here. And lovely to see you, Sean. And namaste to all your listeners and your good self. You're right, in a way. I'll, I'll ignore the sort of Mickey taking with the tales of the unexpected, because what I have is a unique skill. Uh, you know, I, I get it. It's funny. You know, very, very, very funny. What I have is the benefit of clairvoyance, clairsentience, where I can sense things, uh, clairaudience, where I can hear things, and clairgustance, where I taste things, all the clairs, basically. And I can see immediately, looking at you, no disrespect, but I'm sensing male pattern baldness within four to five... Right. Yes. What you do about that, I don't know. I can't help you with that. That's that's very prescient of you, actually, because yeah, I'm yeah. losing it a bit at the front and yeah, a bit at you the back. Are. But what I do, you're absolutely right. Um, I can see forward. You yeah. know, I'm, in many ways, I'm, I'm a trendsetter. I know, I mean, these clothes, for example, are not what you call fashionable now, but they might be in five to ten years. Predictions. I'm always asked about sporting predictions. Mm. I know you're a sporting uh, mm. chap. Always very difficult to say, but... I'm going to start with this, because I've had some wonderful feelings um, about the Scottish Premier League. And my prediction is that, once again, that's going to go right down to the first game of the season again (laughs) next season. Well, it's, you see, it's good to you, you run the gamut. You see, this is the thing. It could be a sports, it could be entertainment, yeah, it could be anything right. you, that you can lend your your powers to. Absolutely right. Um, you know, when, when did you first discover your calling, Clinton? Oh goodness me! <laughs> well, you know, I mean, as a very young child. Oh. You know, my my background was actually very very normal. Um, as a child, I could make predictions. My mum used to, you know, she thought I was special. Mm, well, as yeah, all moms do, do. But yeah. she used to dress me in very smart clothes with a bow tie, little spectacles, a bit like Jacob Rees Mogg. <laughs> And almost immediately I could predict that I wouldn't have many friends <laughs> at school. But uncanny predictions, you know, I, I used to... Kids don't like that. If they sense you're more than them, you're extra yeah. special yeah. than them, you really are a very special sort of person, they won't make it friends. It rubs them not, up the wrong way. Fault. Yes, it does. It's not their, not their fault. And I was special and I am special. I won't, I won't hear anything otherwise. Um. I mean, do you do you does it does the criticism hurt you because it seems that some people do get very angry? Yeah, at they do. These words like charlatan and con man and tool. And I mean, do, do you how do you react to that? Well, it depends who's saying it. I mean, mm. tool on your lips isn't too bad. But what I will say is that you know, if you've just always been interested in the spirit realm like me it doesn't bother you it's yeah. just part of your life you know i remember my dear old mum meg god love her and protect her she, she's still alive but she lives in stockport so it's still worth saying she was interested in that sort of thing and it cost me dad too and he's in a, a much better place is now he? yeah he lives in it's royston just off the a1 right but what i'm saying is people do get upset if you discover something it's very difficult oh yeah they can't face the truth yeah yeah people don't like the don't truth like it. you know i mean if you say to someone I don't know, that cough you got. I don't want to overstate it, but you might want to take your library books back. This, don't right, start yeah. any That's long a difficult novels. Thing it's to difficult to hear, isn't it? Yeah. yeah, not from a doctor. You know, that fella you're sitting next to, I can tell you the dirty dog. Yeah, yeah. Your yeah, fella, your yeah. partner. It's not um, going to go down well, is it? It's not going to go down well. You know, he, he, in a couple of months' time, he will be gone with the best friend Tina while you're at Zumba. And once when you went off to the supermarket in Huddersfield Town Centre. These are difficult things to yeah, hear. Yeah, that's quite precise. But that was a particular case. But, I mean, so, so let, well, let's try and put these, um, you know, incredible this incredible prescience, uh, right. the, the, this incredible gift to the test because right. we've got a we've got a listener on the line and i'm not going to say a name don't I think say one of the things well, you like to do is girl, I mean, you've said her and that's see, sort yeah, of slightly rude some of it don't away. matter i'm saying it's a woman i'm saying we got a woman on the the phone are you there my love yes hello hello Ooh, you're right um right immediately i'm picking up warmth <laughs> i'm getting a sense of polyester you, you're in the north no. Right, mm. okay. okay. You're in the south, that's what I was going to say. Very much in the south. Very much south of Birmingham, I'd say. Very much in the south. Your name begins with a D, don't it? It, it doesn't, I'm P. afraid, no. P? Not, no, I'm afraid not. Is it an R? No, but you're getting much closer. Mm. This is where the, the gift it, kicks in. 
I'm saying S. I'm oh, saying S. Oh, my goodness. Right. Yes, it's, it's, right. It's, it's Sus- Susan. It's, sh- n- not quite. Sharon. Sharon. Sh- no. Sharon. Sh- Very close. Stephanie. S- S- Sarah, come in Sarah, 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 wow. Sarah, Sarah. Sarah. Nice to be here to oh see this. God, Sarah, it is a, a skill. And you work in the health service, am I correct? Um, I work in a shoe shop. It's, it but can people, be because some people some. in the health service do do wear shoes, as I said. But and it's and, and you work quite close to home, isn't it? It's quite close where you go, isn't it? It is. It is actually. It's it ten is. Minutes walk. It's ten minutes walk in the yeah. sh- the shoes, which is handy because that's what I was getting shoes and walking. That's shoes yeah. and walking to work. It was very close, only about ten minutes. What can I help you with, my love? Because I've got someone here with me on my oh. shoulder. It's a man or a woman. Is that ringing any bells? Oh my goodness! It, it could be a man. Oh. It could be a man, and it is a man. Hello, just a minute. Hello. What can I do? He wants to help you. What, do you. what can he help you with? Um, I'd, I'd really like to know if I, if I might get a promotion this year. Oh, we... <laughs> I don't know what he's related to. He's quite sophisticated. I'm, I'm guessing not. And he's saying... He's nodding. What are you <gasps> nodding about? What are you nodding? <laughs> he's like nodding he's and smiling. You're, just, you're channeling Sean at this point. can't see him. No. I'm channeling him. What's... He says... Yeah, all right. He says, them shoes, them shoes, you're going to reach a platform. He's, he's made a joke about platform <laughs> shoes. And he said, your tongue's ain't that's another joke, no matter. But, and he says, what do you want? What's you hoping? What sort of promotion are you hoping for? He's saying, please. Oh, I mean, floor manager's the dream. Is, is it floor, ma- is, is floor manager, please, isn't it, that you want? Floors yeah. and shoes, you can see it. Floors and shoes, yeah. you can see it, that's right. And he's saying, oh, he's shaking his head. Hmm. <gasps> he's shaking his head, Susan. Uh, t- uh, what was it, Sarah? Sarah, Sarah and yeah. he's saying, Sarah. "Sorry, Sarah." And he's saying, "He's saying no. It's not. A, it's not a minor promotion. It's not on the floor promotion. It's going up. It's senior oh management, goodness. if you please." <gasps> that, does that ring a bell? Is that saying anything to you? Senior management in the shoe business. Oh, that's beyond my wildest dreams. Right, okay. And he's saying it's going to happen between the next eight to nine months, and he's fading now. Oh, he's gone. Fading oh. now. So fading the, now. I mean, it's, what's it like to be in the in the presence of, of that kind of, you know, sort of supernatural experience, Sarah? Is, does, does that I'd speak honest, to you? The, the hairs on the back of my neck have gone up. Yeah. 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 yeah, they have here yeah. as well. All my yeah, hairs have gone up and all, yeah. And he's, and he's gone now, and he's just waving, and he says... Just be careful. Ooh. Just be careful. Okay. Is this is there is a rival at work who wants a promotion as well? I bet it. I bet it's Donna. Donna. He's oh. saying Donna. He said Donna. He did say it begins with On a D. On his way off. He was On his way off, he just turned around. He went. Did he just shout it as he went? I won't say what he said about Donna, right. but he went Donna. Then he said something. And he went. Like, I'll show you Sean what he went. He went. Yeah. Unbroadcastable. Yeah, yeah but that's yeah. what he he's said. Made himself clear, hasn't he? He's made himself very clear about. Just be careful about Donna. Okay. All right. Well, I'll keep my eye on her. You keep around. Oh, sheesh. She is a one. <laughs> well, what, what, uh, just, how do you feel about that, sir? In, in general, is that a positive experience for you? Do you feel like. It's a very positive experience. It's good news, isn't it? Keep my eye on Donna as well. Yeah, exactly. Keep your eye on Donna. And good luck with the shoes, my yeah. love. We'll always need shoes. Well, that's beautiful. <laughs> Thank you very much indeed, Sarah, there. From, uh, it says here, Henley, as a matter of fact. I don't know if there's that's any That's right. Is it, is it um, it's Henley. Um, it's down near... That's it, yeah. Yeah. yeah down and I've got a picture of water. That's I've it. I've got a picture yeah. of water. Yeah. It's that's near... It. The, the regatta, isn't it's it? It's near uh, the regatta. The rowers. It's near the rowers. That's, that's it. right. Look. Good luck, my darling. Um, this chap is, is, is looking after you. He'll be with you. And he says, be careful of Donna. So there you go. It's, it's, it's just it's so lovely to watch somebody who is a master of the craft, really. But, uh, yeah. I mean... What 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 else for you now, Clinton? I mean, how do you you know? I mean, obviously you you know you you do this uh, in very different. Pl- you're well, constantly doing this all around the country. Yes, what, what I are you am. Next going well, to be doing? Well, I've got a podcast out. Oh. Thank you. I could almost yeah, tell you can tell you it was going about to, to say that. Yeah, yeah. It's called right. Clinton Baptiste Paranormal Podcast, and it's out. Uh, apart from that, I'm going up to Macclesfield uh, Thursday to do um, a Phoenix Nights quiz oh. at uh, a pub. No reason you should know that. I think it's sold out. <laughs> but um, I think it has. I, 
I thought, sorry. <laughs> and, anyway, so I've got very, very busy doing lots of stuff like that. And if anybody ever wants a reading, I'd yeah. like to come back and do a reading if that's well, at all possible. I think that's definitely on the cards, as they might yes, say. Yes, it is. Um, thank you very much indeed for your clairvoyance, Mr. Clinton all Baptiste. Right, thank you so much. Fading now. Yes, going. Fading now. Losing. Fading now.